Yo, what's up guys, it's IR420. I thought I'd bring you a bit of a guide for Sumatra because I've played her quite a lot. I was actually ranked like in the top 50 on PS4 for, uh, for a while anyway, until Master Overwatch and that stopped receiving stats from Blizzard, but let's move on. That's not, uh, that's not important. This is about Sumatra. I'm going to try and break it down into a little section about each of her weapons because that seems like the easiest way to do it and there's so, so much you can go over with her but I don't want to make this video too long I just want to make it quick so let's get on with this shit. Right first thing turrets. You get your turrets that's going to be your main weapon that's what you want to be using the most that's sort of the point of Sumatra apart from the teleporter but we'll move on to that. Turrets. Right first things first with turrets is I try and spread them out. Now I know a lot of people do tend to just clump them up in one little spot. As soon as like one person sees someone else getting killed, they're going to approach that corner with caution and just bang, all six turrets are gone. Personally I like to spread it out a little bit. I like I like to sort of tuck them away in corners, I like to just deal little, little bits of damage here and there as they pass through. So basically what I'll do is I'll try and layer up. I'll, I'll do them in sets of two. So they've got a 10 metre range on them anyway, so if you keep them about 5-10 metres away from each other, then both of them turrets are going to shoot someone at the same time. And if you split them up, then it means it's going to be harder for them to take both of the turrets out. So you're actually going to buy more damage just by splitting your turrets up a little bit. So, say for example they walk through one layer of turrets, they get shot from both sides, they shoot them both out, they're on about half health. They then take two steps forward and get attacked by two more turrets. That's how I like to play it. I like to do little layers of turrets, which uh, I'm going to keep saying turrets. Turrets. So anyway, when, once you've laid down your turrets and your turrets get destroyed, you want to put your turrets in a different spot. Because the enemy are going to be expecting them, so just try and vary it up a little bit. Like There's no end of little corners and things you can tuck them away in, so you know, just be creative with it. Right, let's move on to shields because I'm sick of saying turrets. Pretty much all you really want to do with the shields is make sure that you don't give them to your team until the enemy team is released. It takes a minute from the beginning of the game for them to be released, so when you get the countdown, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's your countdown to give your shields out. So give them out just after that and you'll get the points for them, you'll get the ult, you'll, you know, you'll get your teleporter out faster. Let's move on to the teleporter. All you really need to know about the teleporter is it gets 6 uses and it's got 200 health. When you come out of the teleporter it's the opposite way of what you put it down so just make sure that you don't make people spawn facing a wall because it's annoying as hell. I understand why they've done it, it's to stop team killing or to make it harder to team kill. You know, you can't just put it, you can't walk up to the edge of a cliff and put it down and people will walk straight off, they're going to come out the opposite way. So all you really need to remember with that is it's going to spawn people the opposite way to what you're looking. So, you know, just put it down so they're not facing a wall. Gun charging, let's move on to that. So you've got your little bloody Ghostbuster cannon, what you go and fuck people up with. That's easy enough, right? You, you know, you just keep it locked on, no problem. But you want to try and keep it locked on as much as possible because obviously the damage output goes up the more seconds you hold it on them. So it's like 30 damage a second for the first second and then 60 and then 120 the longer you hold it down. Now it stops at 120 but 120 DPS is quite a lot. So there's a couple of ways of charging it which isn't necessarily by killing people. So say Winston puts down one of his bubbles, you can charge it off that before you go in for a kill. Say Symmetra puts down a portal, you can charge it off that before you go in for a kill. Um, Maze Ice Walls work as well, that's that's another good option. So you can pretty much charge your gun up and get it, get it to like 120 DPS before you go into a fight, if possible, by hiding round, round a corner and just doing cheeky shit. Try and maintain the power on your gun, especially when you're in combat with like several people just try and lock on to one person and then straight onto the other don't take your finger off the trigger another thing what comes to playing about with a gun and charging your gun up is always attack from behind because if you're attacking from behind you get like half a second to a second before they've actually turned around and started shooting you now by that time your guns are already like halfway charged up and they're half dead so you're gonna win that gunfight Unless it's like Roadhog or Reinhardt or someone like that. But again, what you want to do for like Roadhogs and Reinhardts is you want to charge your gun off other characters or, you know, Maze Ice Wall or whatnot. Try and charge it up a little bit before you go in and attack. 
but I'd stay the hell away from Reinhardt and Roadhog anyway, just because you, you shouldn't be facing oh, them okay, guys yeah. as Symmetra. Let's move on to the last topic, which is Symmetra's big blue balls. They're 125 damage when you fully charge them, and 30 damage when you don't charge them at all, really. So, <laughs> don't, don't fire the little ones, charge them up and just boost it through everyone. They can go straight through Reinhardt's shield, so just fire it straight through that shit. Like, all the people hiding behind the shield aren't going to sort of... Well, they should be expecting it to come by now. The game's been out a while, but still, I, I get a lot of kills with these big blue balls, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. So that's it for the Symmetra Guide. That's pretty much all I really want to go into. I could show you all positions to put turrets and things like this, but it seems silly because, you know, they get took down so quickly that you might as well just figure your own out. Like, experiment with her, like, there's different methods you can do. Putting threes by threes is quite good, but I always found Rosa 2 to be the best. Anyway, the next guide I'm going to be doing is a Lucio guide. It's going to be quite quick. It's going to be a lot quicker than this. I've got some more, I've got a whole fucking Symmetra montage which I want to get out, but it, it, it just takes time. I'll get, I'll get it out. You know, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff. Do that.